what we do is to check how microplastic uh, move inside the soil and how much of it there is. Welcome back to Random Romania. I have a couple here from Israel who are checking out Romania. Um, I'll let you introduce yourself first. Uh, sure. Uh, so my name is Tomer. This is uh, my wife, uh, Ophir. Uh, we came from Israel um, and uh, we're looking to buy here a property. Uh, my reason for coming here is because I al always uh, felt a connection to this place. Uh, my whole family is from Romania um, and I have also relatives here. Uh, my grandmother is still living in Romania. And uh, I always used to come to visit here, uh, going to the mountains, hiking, uh, all the stuff. Uh, and I also um, had the opportunity to work here for, for volunteering in a farm and I very much enjoyed it and I want someday uh, to have it, to have like uh, animals, farm, uh, grow my own food. And uh, we took the chance today to come and uh, find out if there is any property that we are able to buy and uh, yeah. Okay, and, and what what's uh, making you want to leave Israel? Is it partially the situation there with the conflict? Uh, well, yeah, I would say that uh, this situation is a major uh, push in that direction to do it, but I thought about doing it uh, for a long time and always uh, postponed for various reasons. Uh, but yeah, uh, the situation is very difficult, um, very unstable, and a lot of people thinking of uh, different options, uh, where they can go, what they can do, and uh, yeah. And, and what what attracted you to my YouTube channel and what I was, I've been talking about? Um, yes, so your YouTube channels, you talk about uh, uh, establishing a community of people that will work together on various projects. And uh, that's uh, very much my also my idea to do uh, because uh, I think it's very uh, important now this instability in the West uh, is all over, like it's a global problem basically that the political institutions uh, cannot be uh, relied upon completely and uh, we need to work together in order to be effective and uh, find solution uh, to all, all this. Okay, you were saying, because we've been talking beforehand for a long time before you, you got over here, um, you were talking about looking for some work here and uh, I wanted to reach out to the followers on the channel uh, and explain a bit about what kind of job you were looking for because until you can get going with the whole farming yeah. plan, um, maybe you want to take some uh, work first. Yes, uh, of course. Uh, I want uh, to work. Um, my, my experience is basically in science. I worked as an, a chemical analyst in Israel and I also studied environmental science. Uh, so I'm very much interested in um, doing uh, stuff in this field. Uh, the farming part is only for me. I just want uh, to have uh, a space uh, to raise animals and uh, to have uh, food security. And uh, yeah, I'm looking for jobs related to uh, hydrology, ge geochemistry. And uh, in Israel, I uh, also got a job offer in this field that uh, in an engineering company. Uh, so. Yeah, I would love to find something like this here and also work uh, and develop in this field. So, c what can you describe a bit in a bit more detail what your perfect job would be? Like, w because I don't know much about uh, this field. Yeah. So, be because if anybody's watching, you need to kind of reach out to them and say exactly what you're uh, looking yeah, for. Yes. So, what's interesting interest me now is basically um, the like sort of civil engineering of uh, environments, uh, like uh, to. Uh, purify contaminated water, to treat contaminated water, to re uh, rehabilitate uh, polluted environments, uh, uh, to work uh, with uh, water infrastructure, uh, engineering, uh, stuff like that, and also with uh, chemistry. Okay, cool. Well, you um, you heard the man. If, you're, if you think you can... Uh uh, you have any contacts and you can reach out to us in the comments below with any ideas of how uh, how you can get a job that would be that would be very good uh, yep okay um, right we were also talking um, about the whole community idea and this subject of um, microplastics came up and I know you were this is an interest of yours and I'll let you speak a bit about that so 
it, it, it occurred to me that this, w with the community, one of the things we want to do is uh, focus on growing our own food and good quality food. And I know there's this, this big issue that people are talking about now with plastic contamination. And this seems like a very good subject to cover because it seems to be affecting the human biology at multiple levels, you know, hormonal systems and whatever. I've read a lot of information about this and it sounds like a fascinating subject. So tell us a little bit about that because maybe there's some people people watching who are also interested in that subject or know something about it. Because that, that, it just sounded to me like a great thing to, to get involved in. Uh, yeah. We can make good content about that because everybody's concerned about the quality of their food. Yeah, right. So what I do f now is a master's degree in water quality after I did the environmental science uh, degree. And I'm researching at the moment microplastics. So what we do is to check how microplastic uh, move inside the soil and how much of it there is. So what I develop now is a microplastic method to actually count and see how much you have. So what's happened nowadays is that we have so much contamination of microplastic that what I can tell from what I read is that microplastic is influencing our soil fertility and the ability of the water to be held inside the soil. So what happened lately is that when we eat salad we sometimes eat also microplastics and this is something I would like to address and solve so also first we need to know we have microplastic and how much we have to in be able to develop some way to clear the soil for microplastic and clean our water of course. Okay so this would be a perfect example of the kind of project we want to work on in the community you know because like uh, if you're if you're 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 buying meat from somewhere an animal somewhere you're going to eat at some point you want to know if that is contaminated with plastics right so that whole looking at that whole subject and how you would actually physically go about doing that would be very interesting i'm sure there'd be people watching interested in this stuff like i, I keep on reading about this stuff it sounds like a horror show and it's somehow we're where most people are ignorant of it, you know? Uh, yes, uh, this is connects also to my other idea of establishing a research uh, center, research uh, center in here, in a in rural area, uh, in order to do this kind of test, and also in order to make an alternative for academy or something that goes together with academy that we can come here in this rural place and test all these sort of products that are uh, in the villages and uh, to make like a quality control, but also to just study the science, study nature. It's the perfect place uh, to do these sort of things. And uh, I think this can be a good uh, basis uh, for a community that uh, will be established as a research uh, facility or a research group that will work on all sorts of projects, work together, create businesses. I think it can be really worthwhile uh, to do this. So my, my idea with the YouTube content, which I obviously I make YouTube content uh, and I'm trying to figure out ways to commercialize it so we can make a living from it. And this kind of content, I think, would be fascinating for people. You know, the, the, the actual process of testing food and figuring out whether it's contaminated or not in a, in a yeah. meaningful way. Yes, of course. Uh, also, all sorts of academic uh, content because uh, uh, I personally, when I went to Academy, I learned most of my most valuable uh, knowledge from uh, YouTube, from uh, from uh, <laughs> con really funny. from uh, <laughs> content creators, and yeah. you to think about it, like it's one content creator that does it, and yeah. is so much effective more than the institution. Yeah. Imagine what can be achieved with a group of people of like-minded people that are interested and curious and want to create uh, these sorts of sorts uh, of educational uh, videos. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do it again. So you guys watching, if you're listening to this and you're finding it interesting, please do get in contact because we're very serious about what we're doing. Um, you two are not the only two that I'm talking to. Yeah. There's probably about 10 or 15 people now that are, are serious at some level and are, are planning to make the move relatively soon. So the more people that get in contact, the better. But uh, yeah, sounds very good. The other thing is, is attracting young people here as well and uh, you know, doing more intelligent, interesting things. Farming gets a bit laborious and boring after a while. Mm. But the whole automation thing, I think, is very interesting. And uh, 
again, I think that's a great thing to be doing in the countryside. A automation and security is the other thing because people in the countryside, people do pilfer things. You know, you can't leave animals completely unattended. Yes. Uh, plus, you have problem with predators and stuff, you know. So this whole idea of securing animals in a way that you can monitor them remotely is another interesting topic. I've seen I've seen people just start to play with this now online, you know, not like the big companies, sure, but not a, a, a small open source design it yourself kind uh, of level. Can you give some uh, examples of... Uh... If you talk to people who have cattle in the mountains here, they all have problems with bears, mm -hmm. you know, because a, a bear, if it's hungry, will, will take a cow, you know. Yes. Uh, and like you really want to detect the bears before they get near your cows. And there's various ways of surveilling this mm -hmm. kind of thing um, using technology. And that's not the, a, a great example, but I, I quite like the idea of actually stop, like creating systems that um, deter people from from messing with you, you know, yeah. rather than like, like if they've stolen something, you've detected it being stolen. It's a bit late, isn't it? So the, yeah. the, I've seen some systems, people, but I don't want to talk about it too much because I want to be the first one to build them and put them uh, online. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, this uh, is a, an issue, as I heard, uh, in these areas. Yes. Yeah. Okay, um, let's see what else we've got to talk about here. You were talking about the, um, the idea with the community of how, you would, how, would, how you'd structure it in a way so that uh, um, you don't have any problem with members... Uh, joining and then not doing what they said that they say they're going to do, you know, like dispute resolution, this kind of thing. Uh, How would you deal with that? Uh, yes. So uh, basically, I just recently discovered uh, this concept called uh, PMA, PMA uh, Private uh, Member Association, that I saw in some groups in uh, the US that done, done it very effectively. Uh, basically, the premise is that uh, you have like a private club And this club has uh, rules of uh, association, of uh, membership. And uh, if someone like uh, making trouble for the other groups, they can like, if it's a group buy, for instance, they can uh, force him to sell his property, uh, considering he violated the agreement that he agrees upon uh, when he joined. Yes. And also it's uh, restrict uh, who can buy and uh, who you can sell uh, the property. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, This sort of thing is like uh, safety measures that one guy won't ruin it for everybody. And also like if you start such a project, which is very valuable, that people don't start selling it, uh, for instance, to cooperation, to build hotel, yes. to build I don't know what. Uh, yes. So you want, to keep the, you want to keep the integrity of the, of the movement of the institution. And uh, that's one way I saw to, uh, that we can do it. Um, I don't. I'm not sure how we can do it here because the environment and the legal system in the U.S. is quite different from Europe. Well, I know what you, what you're talking about is based on um, the the whole concept of freedom of association, yes. which is very strong in America. From what I know, that's been somewhat undermined in Europe mm -hmm. um, by by changes in the law. Um, but I think you know you can certainly vet people very well and just don't invite people who who you, uh, you're you not comfortable with, give them a chance to prove themselves first. I don't, like, I've never met any serious people who who will, uh, sorry, I've never met anybody who's who who's uh, who's tricky, shall we say, that is prepared to even lift a finger to do something constructive. Mm -hmm. You know, so all you have to do with most people is just say, okay, you want to join, do something for us first and prove what you're capable of. Yes, yes. Uh, things like this you can do. That's that's a pretty good filter to get rid of most people that aren't serious. Yeah, that's that could be. But, uh, you know, over time, people can change their yes, opinion sure. and uh, have other interests. You, we all have uh, se <coughs> self-interest, self-driven driven interests. And my, uh, one of my solutions would be to have a, a mediation system in place mm -hmm. and tell people that if they have any disputes, they have to go through mediation. You know, yeah. not involve lawyers and stuff like that because you'll you'll always end up with a, a better result, and um, you know just just deliver what you say you're going to do, however little it is. Just do what you say you're going to do. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's a lot or a little. Just stick to what you promise. Yeah, the you know? stick to your word. Keep yeah, it's, to your word. It, yeah. It's very important. Okay. Um, so you were. Um, you were interested in looking for a property, right? Uh, yes. So what what's your ideal property? 
Uh, well, I can start with something small like uh, two hectares and I will uh, prioritize a good land over a big house or a house at all I can maybe build later. I need some uh, something maybe temporary to stay. Uh, and uh, yeah, I would rather have a lot of land than little because I want uh, to do a lot of stuff uh, with uh, livestock. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'm relatively open to different options. Um. Okay. I was talking to someone who, who was actually interested um, maybe in uh, buying something and renting it back. Mm -hmm. So it, that might be uh, something yeah, that, interesting. Yeah, that could work uh, for, for the start. If for the start and yeah. if we work together on a project. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll, I'll look more at that because that seemed like a good idea. Um, okay. Any uh, any specific questions you've got for me about my time in Romania or uh, anything I'm doing, anything you'd like to ask? Yeah, maybe tell me more about the advantages of this area for a community and uh, of this particular land that you have and how you uh, plan uh, to develop it. And uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, most of Romania is beautiful countryside, you know, in the... In, most of Romania is beautiful countryside, and um, th there's there's quite a lot of uh, difference between some parts of Romania and other parts of Romania. You know, in Transylvania, the, the mentality is a bit different. The people are di a bit different, but it's not so much different from from one place to another. Yeah. What where there is a big different is differences between Western mentality and Romanian mentality. You know, this mm -hmm. is why I'm doing this. So to answer your question honestly. There's no real benefit to being here unless you can get a bunch of like-minded people here. You know, there are other places that are just as beautiful, maybe even better. Yeah. But I already have this land. I've already got the channel. I've already got people interested. Yeah, and, and I got to say that uh, from looking around, your land is uh, really beautiful. You've got a lot of space here. So it looks quite ideal for uh, kind, the kind of project you're talking about. Yes. So like, if you, if you wanted to go and start this yourself, and get to the point I'm at. You've got to build a channel, get a whole load of followers, engage with them all. I've been speaking to people for a couple of years now about this yeah. stuff. And also you've got to have the land. So we're, we're, we're already a long way there. And also I'm not, uh, like I'd like to build an international brand with this thing yeah. and have other locations, not yeah, just here. Definitely, so uh, like a network of uh, communities. Yes, yeah. because, because other people are building similar communities and they will they will connect in some way. Yeah. Like for me, I, I, I think it's important to, to just have the the most fundamental set of values with people like you know it's about honesty reliability being trustworthy keeping your old fashioned yeah. trust related high high trust related values yes. and then after that you're you're free to think or do what you like you know because if you try and have too many rules you know and you don't get the, no no one agrees on everything you know what i mean but i think people agree on being honest and Keeping their word is an important thing. Yes, uh, I agree with that. That uh, you you shouldn't be too general, but you shouldn't also be too niche. Like, yes. uh, in your in your uh, ethics, yes. for instance, you need to yeah. in, to have like the basic uh, core principles: honesty, hard work, and then yeah. go from there. I mean, I mean, it's not com complex. If if you don't turn up for a meeting and you're two hours late, you're just basically insulting the person you're meeting because you're implying their time's not worth anything. Ah. You know, yes. why would you do that? I'd never do that to someone. I'd always, like, I always keep up them updated. And it's it's one example, but this happens all the time. Yes. You know, and I, I'm I'm sick of it. I just want to be around people who can get the most basic things correct, you know. And that's all this thing is really about, just being around like-minded people who are serious and want to do more than just continue life as they always have done, you know. Yes. Uh, yeah, we, a lot of people now uh, searching for ways to be creative and to produce from them for themselves mm -hmm. you, you need to be a uh, creative and not just a consumer i think that's yes. that's the main uh, issue for me that i want to create something and uh, yeah I, that's why i like your project yeah good well you can join it then <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who see who else is um who else i can introduce you to and we can all start well what i'd like to do is start doing a live stream from here once we've got a few people you know yeah. do a regular live stream telling like uh, discussions we can yeah, yeah about the progress with everything that would be a, that would be a cool thing so um is there anything else you wanted to um ask about or any other subjects you wanted to cover 
you wanted to say something maybe about uh, homeschooling? Oh yes, okay. Well, this this oh. is an interesting subject because uh, many people, my my both my my kids are are, are adults now, but um, uh, there are many people wanting to come here with smaller children, and they all ask about where they're going to school, what the schools like, what about homeschooling, you know. But I I think uh, traditional schools are, you know, is they're they're on borrowed time. You can learn more online with a bit of initiative and smart parents than you can from a school. Yep. Yeah, so in where we live right now, we have uh, this uh, kindergarten, which is run by the parents in the community. So you know that you can trust those people because they are living next to you and you know them in person. And the other thing that I like about this place is that they eat organic, so I can trust that they get good food and they will be healthy, even though I leave them with someone else that I know. So this is something I would like also to establish wherever I'm going to live. So if we uh, are able to arrange few families that have uh, children, then we can gather them into a kind kindergarten and then establish something like this. It's organic food and good trust people that are um, going to do a good job with homeschooling. Yeah, so something I'm going to reach out to the audience again and anybody who's interested in this subject of homeschooling, small community run homeschools, um, or kindergarten, please get in touch if anybody knows anything about that or is interested themselves, because this is a this is a problem that anybody who's got small children they ask about this because mm -hmm. people I, many people yeah. are disillusioned with the school systems now. You know, they just seem miles behind what's going on in the the real world. But yeah, and something important is that uh, when you finish school or when you finish academia, so when you come to a job interview you find that you are not as good as you could have been so we can create a really good system to teach them what they really need to know in the industry to find a good job or do something useful like mm -hmm. a purification water system so you go to academia and it, you don't get enough of this knowledge so we can do it better and if we can teach them at young age to be uh, like creative and want to know all those stuff so they can be really really good people yeah yeah you need to teach you need to teach the youngsters how the world actually works um not some not some imaginary story about how it works and that's a big problem because people i mean it was the same for me i left school and it was a huge shock like all this stuff i learned at school 90 percent of which wasn't applicable in the world the real world so the first thing i i had to do was back to the drawing board figure everything out myself so what was the point of school somewhat frustrating yes and uh, i think you learn more even in academy in if you learn from doing project if you if like we do this uh, kind of community or a group we can learn this is something that i i i've never understood why wouldn't you learn doing something that's practically ap applicable to solving a real problem yes you know if you run a business and you hire people to teach them, you teach them by showing them the job. Yeah, right? showing them the job and uh, doing it and creating something, and not uh, just, uh, yeah, but also the uh, th theoretical parts in uh, that they teach you in academy. I don't think, personally, I don't think there is any um, dichotomy between uh, theory and practice. Theory is practice. You learn by, by doing and you learn by observing uh, the natural world. You, you see nature. And it's not just sitting up in, a, in the abstract in your mind. You Cool. Well, another interesting subject. Um, I think we're going to go and look for some properties and things, right? Uh, yeah, sure. So we can, we'll, we'll probably do that tomorrow. So we'll probably be uploading some more little clips and things of anything interesting we find. Yeah, tomorrow will be good to yeah. do a little uh, traveling and uh, see. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you. And uh, thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe and all that good stuff uh, reach out to us in the comments about anything you've heard, heard discussed here that you think you can be involved in um, for those who've been following the whole plan with the community we are making progress i've had a lot of false starts and a lot of delays and a lot of problems but we are properly underway now so anybody who's watching my videos and seeing checking on progress um, if you want me to give you a full update of exactly where we're at in a lot more detail just uh, reach out in the comments or on my email or WhatsApp or Telegram or whatever you've got me on and uh, I'll, uh, I'll give you a full update. And thanks for watching again and bye for now. See you soon.